All right, this is a video on after you have learned or while you're learning the Native American scale, which we'll briefly hit that. Not going a lot, of, well, well, we'll play it so you can learn it. So this is a Native American scale, but mainly how to get rid of your air leaks that you're gonna have that make you squeak. So here we go. Now, Native American scale, which there's thousands of the videos probably on it, so here's another one. You cover all six holes. You're gonna pick up each finger in order except for that one. You're gonna leave it down at the moment. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna put them back down in order. Now, when you grab your flute, squeeze your flute. Don't try to strangle it like this hand right here is the one I'm squeezing. And if you can see the dimples are on the center, if I can hold up and see the paint on my fingers, See the dimples are on the center? Do that one more time. This is very important. Squeeze your flute, put pressure on it, turn your thumb purple, and then look. Ah, I can't hold it steady. See where the dimple is on the center of my fingers? That's where you want it. Now let me show you with my other hand. If the dimple is over here, and I'm squeezing the flute to show you, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. If the dimple is over here toward, and I can't get it still, toward the top or to possibly to the side. Let me get one to the side here to show you what I'm talking about. If it's to the side like that, you almost have an air leak. You want it centered. So when you grab your flute after you do the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back down, and your finger should be flat, not, not like a piano. You're not a you're not playing a piano at the moment. If you see how flat my fingers are, I still got my pinkies I can work with. See how flat my fingers are? Not like that, but like that. That takes practice. And anyway, check the dimples that you form on your fingers, and that will help when you're having air leaks. All right, now, you know the scale going up. All right, so coming down. To me is the most important part when you're learning the scale because it should sound like this but if it sounds like this notice I have an air leak right there all the other fingers are correct but that one even if it's a very Even if it's a very small air leak. So, what I would do if I were teaching you, I would teach you to scale up and down, and then we would stop and start at the top. Uh, and would simply play down. Since those three notes sounded correctly, I have no air leaks. And then here again, I would, I would check my fingers every so often just to see where my you know, see the, if I get the right finger, see where the dimples are. When you're starting out after a while, you don't even pay any attention to it, but again from the top is air leak, air leak, air leak. So start from the top, air leak. So that means that finger is correct because it sounds all right. Don't take your fingers off because you have an air leak. Just hold your f position on your fingers. Oops, air leak, air leak, air leak. So, pick up one finger. All right, those four fingers are good. So when you add this one, that's good. Air leak, air leak. All right, so move, pick up one finger. Don't take your fingers off the flute. Now, for at least for, for right now, pick up one finger. Those, one, two, three, four, five fingers are correct. Now add, now they're all correct. So what I'm trying to say, if you're going down and the next note sounds bad, hold your position. Don't move your fingers. Pick up a finger, the last one you put down. 
that's good. If you'll practice that going down, look at your fingers, try to get them as flat as you can get them. And here again, check, see where the impressions are. Whoops, I can't do that. I'm not coordinated enough to see where, and see my black paint where I'm in painting? Check your dimples. So, once you have a flute, the next thing you're gonna do is learn to scale. Start on the top, go down one finger at a time, very slowly. If you hit a bad note, stop, hold your position, pick up the last finger that you put down. See if it clears up. If it clears up, those fingers are correct, and do it again. That will show you where your air leaks are. And here again, a day, half a day, five minutes into it, you're done with air leaks because you know what's going on and you know what you have to do to correct it. All right, y'all have fun. It's time to go play with some paint some more.